Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some soap again. So I'm going to be doing a fall type soap. And just in case you're wondering, yes, this is the day after Thanksgiving. Yes, this will be ready around Christmas time. I get it. But this is one that I didn't get around to doing and I wanted to. And I had an idea to try a fragrance combination. I'm not sure what it's going to be like, but I'm going to be using a 50-50 mixture of Crafter's Choice Orange Cranberry. I've used this in hot process and in cold process. It smells fantastic. It behaves beautifully in cold process and it really holds its scent in hot and cold process. The other 50 will be Brambleberry's Applejack Peel. I've used this in cold process and in hot process. It misbehaves a little bit in cold process and you need to keep your temperatures low or it'll separate, but Keep your temperatures low and the acceleration is manageable. It's, it's very, very, very much doable. So that's my, my fragrance combination. I'm going to be doing a layered soap on a tilt. So the bottom tilt will be Nurture Soap's Trial by Fire, which is a really vibrant red. And then I'll texture it, put a mica line on with the Shimmer Gold. Then the middle layer will be Nurture Soap's Yellow Vibrance. That way, I'm kind of using this to kind of separate the really vibrant colors. Then the top is one I haven't tried yet. This is Crafter's Choice Atomic Orange. What do they call this? Neon Atomic Orange. And this is some potent looking stuff. But I wanted a vivid orange. And then when I get the three layers done, I am going to pipe the top with a single color using Nurture Soap's Jam Session, which is a really nice purple. I've used it several times. So let's get started and make some soap. I am soaping at about 82 degrees, which is great for this recipe, and it's great because the apple jack peel accelerates and it will separate if it's too warm, but this is a great, great temperature for this recipe and for that fragrance. So let's achieve the very light basic emulsification. First things first, let's divide this into four containers. Close is definitely good enough. I will scrape the remnants out of here because I'm finished with this container. So, 
I will set one of those aside for the frosting. That way it's out of the way, no accidents. And let's get these three layers ready. So the first is going to be the red, which is trial by fire. And oftentimes these color, these powders, they're not micas. I mix in oil like I did the orange, but I need to do a fair amount of stick blending to get this to thicken up, so I'm not too terribly worried about it. So let me stir this in first. our fragrance hoping it behaves fairly well it should because the apple jack peel is manageable at this cool temperature and the orange cranberry behaves beautifully oh yeah it's behaving well behaving very well so well that I definitely will have to hit it with a stick blender My friend Cheryl sent me in the mail. Oh yeah, still nice and portable. Okay, that will have to sit for a while. So folks, I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, let's texture this and get it mic and get our next layer on. Get our yellow ready. fragrance. Still behaving very well. Oops. 
give this a quick hit. Put it in slant the opposite direction. Very nice and portable. shimmy and shake it level up just a little bit shimmy and shake I will be back in just a few minutes all right let's get to our orange layer trying this new mica or this new powder my batter is really thickening on me so I'm gonna have to really move it I really like my whisk. My whisk stirs things in better. I see a lot of people using spatulas to mix of things. My whisk does a much better job. All right, let me, I think I can texture this now. I'm really gonna have to move it or I won't be able to pipe. So let me get this textured. Like a line on this. Get a quarter of the fragrance in here. actually loosening it up a little bit so let me get this stick blended so I can make sure I can pipe in time Okay, so I will get my soap frosting ready and I will be back in just a minute for piping. Now I'm looking at the screen. This is a super vivid bright orange. The camera's not picking it up, so you might not truly see how vivid this is. But I'll be back in a few minutes. With
it's time to cut our soap. It all went to plan, so let's just see what it looks like on the inside. It smells good. And that's what I was hoping for. There we have it. So there is our nice fall looking Thanksgiving type soap. It'll be ready for Christmas. It's alright. I will be doing a Christmas soap next week. So thanks for watching everybody. You all stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you next week. Alright then. Bye.